2021 BMW M440i Review, Vanilla with Extra Sprinkles. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. Everyone criticizes the 2021 BMW 4 Series for the way it looks, and we get it. The two huge vertical kidneys are the most polarizing things we've seen on any new car recently. But we're less offended by that elongated schnoz than we are with how the rest of the new 4 Series drives and looks. And that's a shame because there are some really impressive things to note, especially on the supposedly sporty M440i we tested. The turbocharged inline 6 is one of the most powerful engines in its class, and the active safety equipment is among the best in the segment as well. But for a car this boldly styled, we expected more, and the M440i simply doesn't live up to the hype, certainly not for $71,000 as tested. The front end of the BMW M440i isn't that bad, like we said. The LED headlights are sharp, the side vents are aggressive, and the vertical kidneys, for what they are, at least add some panache to a design that's incredibly uninspired otherwise. From the fascia back, the 4 Series has no definition, no distinct shape, and definitely no Hofmeister kink, it's like BMW inserted generic coupe here. This BMW looks a bit better from the back, at least, with swooping taillights that extend from the rear valance to the center of the trunk lid, joined by dual exhaust tips and a subtle lip spoiler. But the smooth, polished styling of the side profile and rear bumper doesn't jive with the angular front fascia. The interior isn't all that unique, but it is clean, concise, and familiar. If you've been in any modern BMW, specifically the 3 Series on which this car is based, then everything should look the same. The most obvious carryover is the 10.3-inch touchscreen and 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster, both as part of the BMW Live Cockpit, a $3,700 option. Beyond that, $1,450 Oyster Vernasca leather covers the lower portion of the dash and seats. A chintzy-looking aluminum tetragon trim piece runs horizontally above the white leather, and we're not fond of it. And while there are some nice, weighty aluminum fixtures, there's still too much hard black plastic in the center console and around the door panels. The seats in the M440i are fine, they're well contoured, are high quality with the optional Oyster leather equipped, and offer 14-way power adjustability with lumbar support. Not every Motor One editor agrees with this take, to be fair, but your author finds most BMW buckets to be stiff and unsupportive, and that's true here. But the Adaptive M suspension, a $700 option, does exactly as advertised, adapts. It's one of the most variable setups we've tested, dramatically transitioning from buttery smooth and supportive in Eco Pro and Comfort modes, to crass and harsh in Sport and Sport Plus. When combined with the optional 19-inch wheels and ultra-thin Michelin Pilot Sport 4S summer tires, a $1,500 option, in this case, the ride is a touch too rigid for daily use in the latter two drive modes, but that's not uncommon or unexpected. In terms of cabin space, the M440 I feel surprisingly open. The 38.0 inches of front headroom and 41.8 inches of legroom put this car somewhere in the middle of the pack in terms of tape measured space, but the narrow a pillar, slim center console, flat dash design, and large front windows make the front compartment feel more spacious than it actually is.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.